Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be looking at a problem from the 53 Math MTEL, the elementary Math MTEL. Now uh, let's look at this problem here. Every once in a while you have a problem that um, is not that hard to solve. But it leads you into a whole bunch of new concepts which you may very easily overlook. And that's exactly what this one is. So let's read it over. It says here, number 7 on the elementary 53 Math MTEL which of the following equations best illustrates the concept of the additive inverse? And it gives all these answer choices. Um, what I want to look at is the clues here. Additive, which means we're going to be adding one quantity to another, and inverse. Uh, inverse, we were like, ah, I'm inverse to that situation. Well, inverse here is going to be the opposite of something. So imagine a number, and you add the opposite of that number. And in this case, you get always zero. So whenever you add the additive inverse to let's say three, that would be three plus the opposite of it, or negative three, you get zero. That's the rule in a nutshell. And this question here is testing to see if you know the, def the definition of an additive inverse. So you could probably get to, to B here, three plus its inverse, negative three, would get you zero. All right, let's Let's just briefly talk about these four major uh, properties here. Um, let's start with distributive. because Well, no, we'll start with commutative. You should know these. You should make a flashcard. This is a, this is, I like this flashcard here. It's got uh, some rules, and then it, it has the basics of the property, and then it has the actual, actual examples. So commutative, the commutative property. Um, usually with a commutative property, you're changing the order of addition of the, the numbers that you're, you're adding together, or you're changing the order of the numbers that you're uh, multiplying together. For example, A plus B equals C, or B plus A equals C. Or we, again, we change the order of the two numbers. So it could be A times B, or B times A equals C. This is a commutative property. It works for addition and multiplication. Let's look at the associative. I always get the associative confused with the, um, the commutative. One thing you should know about the associative, it's kind of like has three terms, and the commutative only has one term. I mean, I mean two terms. I mean the, the, the uh, A's and the B's. So let's look at the associative, and I know it's kind of in a, a bright yellow color. It's the order, it, the associative involves the order in which the numbers are grouped. Um, and how it doesn't affect the sum of the product. For example, if we were doing a plus b plus c, we could add the a and b together, then add the c and still get d. Or we could do a plus the sum of b plus c, and you still would get d. And then same with multiplication. You could switch the order in which you multiply the um, a, b, and c, and you'd always get d. So this one's involving three terms. The distributive one is the real big one. This is the one in which you're going to see a lot, um, and you're going to use a lot. And you and you already use it, and you've, you're maybe already much more familiar with it. Um, I, I think it's, I would just want to look at the example here, all right? We have this example, 5 times a quantity. Basically, when we multiply out the 5, we do 5 times 1 plus 5 times 8. And now we can um, we can we can add those. Now we can um, answer the question itself. So we'd be we be. This is a little. I'm looking at this and I'm wondering what that equal sign's all about. I think they made a little typo there, and that should be a plus sign. <laughs> Let's edit it. This mistake in the artwork. Let's fix it. All right. So why am I laughing? Because I make these artworks a lot myself and I make tons of mistakes on them. So why did I do that? Well I'm doing 5 times 1 and I'm going to get 5. And I'm doing 5 times 8 I'm going to get 40. And the sum of these two is going to get me to 45. Or I could have, and, and what, what, what you've just done is you just distributed the 5 to both quantities within your within your brackets. Um, or, or we could have um, and that would have been the same answer as if I added 1 plus 8 and got a 9 times a 5, I would have gotten 45. 
So that should have been an addition sign. Sorry that threw, if that threw anyone off. All right, let's go back to the big picture now. All right, we'll save the, there's others here. I'm not going to do this last one, um, the, ad, the identities for um, addition. Basically, that's saying if you add any, a zero to any number, you're going to get the, that number. Um, or if you multiply by, by one, you're going to get to that number. These are different identities. There's a whole bunch of other properties, too, including the additive inverse. And what I would do is I would go to Google, and I would type in basic math properties, and I would get a list of them. These ones should be on your top list. Commutative, associative, distributive, you know, the identity rules. You know, there's some other ones, too. These are definitely on the top of the list. Study these properties. I know that you weren't expecting maybe to go into these properties when, you, when we started to look at this problem. But I tell you right now, it's going to be extremely helpful to know all your properties. This is just a, a, a doorway into a lot more math. And I want you to open up that door and I want you to walk through. That sounds so corny. But it's true. You've got to look at these problems as an opportunity to think about what they'd like you to know. And here they're giving you a clue that you're trying to introduce the properties to you. So you're probably not going to have the additive inverse on your test. But you might have a question on the distributive property, or the commutative property, or the associative property. So go back and study those. All right. If you need help on this, um, you should go to the check out GoMath, uh, and you can find out more about um, the workshops and the tutoring. And again, I, I wish everyone the best of luck on these exams. Share this stuff with your uh, teaching community and your your schools and teaching colleagues that need help. And uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. Take care. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye.